Alright, so in this video we're going to be talking about how we can do the calibration process in the SkyCut machine so that way we can get those accurate uh, cuts, not only for print cut, but uh, you know, if you're going to use that camera for more precision orientation and everything. So uh, how do we do that? Well, a couple things that you're going to need to start out with is uh, first we need a, t a piece of paper on there, a little test paper, uh, whatever scrap you have. Uh, and then we're also going to need the test pin, right? Uh, so you need the test pin inserted. Uh, you can see that we have it right here. That's the one that came with the SkyCut machine. And then we need to make sure that the pin can draw on the paper uh, with the proper force and speed. So the, the manual actually suggests that we have the speed here uh, set to 8 and then the force set to 30. Okay, and then what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and uh, you know bring this up here. We're going to arrow over to a spot on the piece of paper that is clean, uh, clean enough for us to see a test pen draw real quick. And we do that. We accomplish this by the test button that you see right here. I'm going to click on it. So it's going to use that speed and that force that we have set right there to draw a quick, uh, quick square. And if you don't see it, well, uh, that means that your pen height might not be the proper height or you need a little bit more force. But anyways, uh, it worked fine for me. I see a square on my piece of paper, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the calibration part. So before we, we do that, uh, we do want to move to a spot on the paper that uh, doesn't have any drawing on it so that we can make sure that we are you know, seeing uh, everything that we need to do to calibrate. Okay, so I'm going to click on this button here, bring us back to the main home screen, and I'm going to click on the gear icon, and then I'm going to click on the camera. You can sort of see uh, this right here, this is our white box, that's what's going to display uh, what the camera sees. Uh, you'll see that here shortly. And uh, if you look down here in the bottom right, we don't have the start button that we need. And that's because we're not in calibration mode. So we need to go click on adjust. Now we're in calibration mode and we can hit the start button. Click on the start. You'll see the head moved. What, don't, what it did for us, it drew a crosshair. And now it's uh, scanning uh, that what, what, what it drew, right? So let me zoom out here. So uh, that is what it drew. And uh, I don't know if you can see it on the current screen that I'm on right now, but uh, we have a red crosshair, we have blue dashed lines, and so let me let me zoom in here, and uh, hopefully we can hopefully we can see this here. All right, so we have the blue dashed lines that you'll see going across here. We also have the red cursor. Okay, That red cursor follows wherever I tap. Okay, Our goal in this is not to have the red crosshair always show up right exactly on the middle where we need it to be. Our goal is to have the blue dash line show up across the actual drawn out crosshair. So it's like we're lining up crosshairs, but the only thing that we really care about is the blue dash line. Well, how do we tell the machine where to move that blue dash line? Well, that's what the red red crosshair is for. So we're going to I'm going to click on the center, and uh, I am able to get it a little bit closer. Um, you know, we can zoom in here. Use the three times here. It will zoom in, and hopefully, you guys can sort of see that blue dash line a little bit better now in the red crosshair. Uh, we are able to adjust the red crosshair by using the uh, the arrow keys. Let me go ahead and go to this screen here. Using these arrow keys to sort of move the red the red crosshair. So you can sort of see that it's it's moving there. And then once I got it, get it close I can hit OK and it's going to do another scan. Again, our goal is to have the blue dash line align with the 
the black uh, solid lines that the pen drew. And something that you will be thrown off on at first is that red crosshair doesn't seem to stay where we last clicked, and that's, that's done intentionally, meaning that it moves it out of the way so we can see the blue dash line. All right. So, anyways, uh, I'm I'm going to go ahead and make a make another one more adjustment. You can sort of see I got the the red crosshair exactly in the center. Again, I'm going to click on the OK button. It will do another scan, and I think that we should be good on this one. All right. So it has completed the scan. The blue lines look really good on my end. And I'm going to zoom back out, and it looks really good. looks really good. I can zoom in there. So uh, hopefully you guys can see that. I mean, you see it right there. You see it right there. So it's really good. Now, the last step, so easy. All you have to do is click on this green home button. Calibration is done. So... Uh, very easy. This is something that you're going to want to do when you get your machine, uh, and you only have to set it once, and then you should be good. Okay. Uh, we're going to have some follow-along videos. If your cuts are a little bit off, uh, we'll provide some tips and tricks on how to get them to cut out a little, a uh, little better if you need to. Okay. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. All right. Thanks.